Hey everybody, it's Scott Simcoe Spring Service, and today I'm going to make a thing. I don't really know what it is. I don't know where to buy them, so I'm going to make it. That's it. <laughs> so I have everything kind of set up right now. Uh, this is my receiver. It has a quarter of an inch lip on here, so I cut a quarter inch plate for over there to keep it nice and level. And then over here, this is a two inch piece of tube, this is two and a half, and I've shimmed it with half inch stock underneath here, here, and here, so I can keep everything square and level while I'm working on it. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld a piece of pipe here and a piece of pipe here, and what we're doing is we're just trying to convert her receiver here to four inches taller so that when she has her bike rack in here, uh, it doesn't uh, scrape on the ground when she's going in and out of like Tim Hortons parking lots, drive drive throughs uh, driveways, uh, stuff like that. Anything with like a, a steep gradient going up in and out of uh, driveways. So basically that's the plan and we're going to go we'll fabricate this up so she can now not scrape her bike carrier. I've actually made one of these things before for my own personal use because I have a transport truck and I have to hook up like trailers and stuff like that to it. Can you actually buy these things? I mean, if you can buy these things, let me know and put a link down in the description down below because I'd be really interested to actually see one that I could actually purchase or send one of my customers to to purchase. So let's get fabricating. So this piece needs to be about six and a half inches because that's how big the other one is. That's six and a half inches and I would need about an inch of clearance here. So I'd need about seven and a half inches. So I'm thinking I do this. I go up and I give her about an inch of clearance here. See? Got an inch of clearance here. I'm going to get to this point here. Right there. I'm going to go seven and a half inches out. That makes sense? Six and a half inches out. That makes more sense. If we find her point back to one inch. That's where we'll drill our pin. And that makes the most sense to me. So pin, and then this is our gap here to give us our spacing. And then we'll have a receiver here, which will be up like this. So it'll be an inch away. So that should give them enough clearance so that nothing should hit. Plus, we can get these two little babies in here, like so and so. Put that up on there like that. And that'll give us our height clearance we need. All right, so I gotta cut this, cut this, drill that, and weld it together.
All right, let's do the final fit up here. Say that there is pretty good. Looks like we got a little extra here. Let's cut that off. I'm pretty content with that. So one inch here, quarter of an inch here, so I can get some weld in there. One inch gap, whatever's left over, and then I'm gonna cut this back so I have a quarter of an inch so I can run a bead of weld in there really good. So that should be super strong. There you go, there's my weird contraption. It should work. that all right looks like it works pretty good so there you go there's my thing I made 
I don't know what it's called. Let me know in the comments down below. So I just got to rip it apart and paint it up and give it back to the customer and we're good to go. Another job done. All right, I'll catch you next time, guys.